This is why I don't cook with a hijab. Okay, we're gonna put that aside to like a skinny queen. If you want, I can do recorded cooking videos so I can pause and swear and edit that out. But, hey, little doll, so I don't like how. I hate this table, it's too thin. Oh, who did I miss here? A Muslim now? I've been. Hi, Celeste. You miss me? Thank you, guys. Anyways. Ribbe, hi. Why is my chat like this? Wait. Okay, that's better. Lisa P. Uh, Karen, hello. It's, I know, it's an early dinner. Uh, C Roller, hello. Hold on, guys. This stupid stand is just defective as all heck. <sighs> Kiki, Rose Queen. Jessica, hi, who did I miss? Somebody said hi up there. Oh, sea roller. Thanks, Rebe. Well, I'm feeling better, yeah. Because I have the energy to, uh, to, uh, to do this, to even make soup, it's beyond me. I have a bit of cheese. Uh, I have some water, which I need right now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to La Madre Cooks. What? I don't know if that's it. Okay, I can't even see out these glasses. I have some baguette. Tomato soup. Hey, Zana. No, this is lentil soup. Yeah, this looks clean. <laughs> this is a multi-grain baguette. Just gonna have a piece. Oh, go fuck yourself, Anna. Come again. Oh, this smells so good. All right. I guess eating and having dinner, period, is triggering for some people. Hi, Nikki. You can get an arm shake if you become a member. Go to hell. I like go F yourself more. I know it's not very nice or Muslim of me, but I don't give a shit. Okay, and we have some Colby and Monterey Jack. Okay. My, my, food is in a, in a movie. She's having soup. And like one slice of baguette. And the soup is just lentil soup, basically. Oh yeah, I saw that? No. Hi Kelly, Gracie. Sit on it and rotate. Oh yeah, I used to say that too. Sometimes you just have to tell people to F off. I'm telling you, it's therapeutic. I know I shouldn't be promoting that, but whatever. I also made refrigerator pickles. I have to put them back in the fridge. But uh, I'm pickling garlic and cucumber at the same time. Yeah, I didn't have any dill, so. And the grocery store I ordered from didn't have any dill, so. All right, so we have a piece of baguette, a little bit of cheese, multi-grain baguette. And we have some, I just made this, so it's very thick. I hope it's good. Let's see, I don't have a spoon, it's freaking. Hello, love, Avril. Where's my love? No, the doctor told me to insulin bees like later, like in the evening. Cause I don't have to take it before every meal. But I think I have to call the pharmacist again. Oh, yum. Hmm. Thank you, Paula. That's yummy. That's gonna bruise really bad. Mm. And Karen, thank you. Yeah, I made the soup. Refrigerator pickles, tomorrow they'll be ready to eat. People don't put olive oil in their pickles, but I do. Garlic, cucumber. I don't know, it's called Lantis. Look at this. All the syringes I have. Now, units. Whoa, there's a hundred units. I get it. It's not milliliters. So the doctor wants me to take five units in the evenings to start. Hmm. Needs love. Hi guys. So why does it taste like there's coconut? All that I literally put in this was um, pickle red onions. I'm not, they're not dietitians. Give me a break. So the person on TikTok who's a certified dietitian and has like thousands of videos is not a dietitian. But this one person with a weird selfie in my comment is a freaking dietitian. Get out of here. Oh, really? See your water bites? Yeah, so I have to measure out exactly five units. 
and tomorrow I have an appointment with the doctor already. But they're gonna be like, so how's it going? I don't know, I just injected yesterday. I'm like, <laughs> I guess we'll see. I don't like the spoon. <laughs> Insulin, too bomb. I didn't put like any salt hardly, but this is really good. It's just blended up like red lentils, some olive oil I sauteed, like onion, garlic, carrots. I put a bunch of spices and lentils. Mmm, pickled turnips. Hey, Rosalia. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Rosalia. I think it's a measuring spoon. If I eat with a tablespoon, everyone complains that's too big. I'm like Goldilocks with the freaking utensils. Am I ever going to find one that's just right? Hi, Tracy. That's, that's a ladle. <laughs> it's a small ladle. What are you going to scoop with this? Oh, wow. Box Chaos. Good for you. A hundred pounds? Wow. You should make a journey. <laughs> I'm really glad it for you, really. Hey, I should No, we're busy. I'm private. Melanie! <laughs> what? I fell asleep on the couch in there. In Mary's room. So I shut the door. I'm texting him. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go live in, uh, earlier tonight because I wanted to do, like, I, I wanted to cook with you guys, but I'm not done my kitchen. Squash soup is so good. How do I not care about my effing health? I've spent time in the hospital. I have appointments I'm going to. I lost 17 kg. Can you shut your mouth or be blocked? Thank you. What the fuck more do you want from me? I'm eating vegetable lentil soup I made even though I'm still sick. Seriously, I don't get it. <laughs> Taylor Beam. <laughs> so a lot of self-employed. He can work whenever the hell he wants. Yeah. That's how it works, Brenda. How was yummy? <clears throat> Anyways. Laughing at self-employed. Again, again. Mm -hmm. How did he live before me? Can you answer that? Then I'll believe. And then, yes, you can say what you want. I should freeze this baguette, eh? Thanks, Melanie. Slow cook. I want a slow cooker. Must be full moon lunatics are out. <laughs> uh, I'll be here for quite a while. Don't you worry about that. Um, Ayana. Oh, yeah. Pond, you goodbye, you fucking loser. See ya dickhead thank you kaylee from rainy britain it's supposed to be summer <laughs> that's weird eh? how that happens it normally rains in winter or what when it comes along thanks here genio too <sighs> i'm gonna make fasulia one day yeah yeah there's a lot of fiber in that meal vegetables blended lentils which are super high fiber multi-grain baguette and cheese for protein i don't want to eat like a huge meal right now people need to learn respect paula there's a lot of people who are not normal. They're cuckoo, cuckoo, checked out, you know? Brianna, no, there's no point. There's no point in even trying. <laughs> Raining here. Where's Zainab? Hi, Sarah. Hey, I'm doing well. How are you? Okay, Tracy, just wait. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, Tracy, I'm here. Y'all need to get off her ass about her health. She will do what the doctors tell her to do, not what people on the internet want her to do. Yeah, 100%. All right, so only subscribers can message now, and... Uh, there's a freaking time limit. There's like a five minute delay, five second delay. Haunted location. Where did I go, Esther? Can you show us the beach? Like right now? Mm, it's still rather not. It's just basically tomato, um, lentils, carrot, onion, garlic. I don't want to croak either, trust me. Good day, Marquita. Love a good soup, Kelly. Yes. You're a scriber. Fresh salads. I had a lot of, I had some cucumbers earlier because I did a small grocery order. So I got some veg and there's nothing wrong with my teeth. Go eat shit. Read the one above that. Oh my gosh, Tracy, I can't scroll all the way up like that. You have to re repost it. <laughs> oh, hello, Lynn. How do you feel about Yabba throwing a funeral? How about she throws a funeral for her late uh, baby daddy who was a drug addict and left two kids alone with um, a stepmother who thinks they're unfortunate looking. How about that? God, degenerate people. I'll be alive longer than you, bitch. Cabbage Patch, thank you. Hi, Kanita. 
please never stop. <laughs> I'll try not to. I need lip gloss. <laughs> the people are ignorant. Tammy, Tammy Slayton was had a fucking trach because she couldn't breathe and she turned her life around. And you're gonna try to predict when people are gonna live or die? Well, I'm on the mend, so guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Freak. This table, <laughs> wake him up. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I, it does worry me, light. That's why I went to the hospital. No, I, I, I danced around for glee. My husband is an Ozempic. His A1C went down, but his weight loss is consistent. Oh, really, Vera? Hey, Kina Bear, hi. Lauren Smith, I have no idea, I don't know. Seems that most of your haters are people who are incapable of taking care of their kids, or as a matter of fact, capable to even take care of themselves. If they come here ASAP when you go live to talk shit. Exactly, that's why I tell them to F off. <laughs> Beauty bite. Ew, it's probably hot out there too. I don't know, Ezra, I can't just put myself on medications, but this is the ones the doctors put me on for now. So yeah, but I don't know. People who live in the reality? What reality? All they do is make up shit. According to them, I'm supposed to be kicked out of Kuwait right now, dumbass. What reality? What reality? The reality that they can't even realize themselves? You're gonna tell me Yabba's in fucking reality? She's a freaking heifer and hides herself in the microphone. Give me a break. She looks like a cabbage patch at in her 30s. Lay off the sodium and quit coming for me. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you are. Goodbye. You're clearly a dumbass. What do you mean? I know and I know and you know I don't. Don't tell me what I know. I, get out of here. Seriously. I'll rage and swear if I want. I don't care how it makes me look, whatever. You ask me, that's my opinion. These, it's a community of dumb fat people who make fun of fat people, bully other fat people. That's exactly what it is. And make up stupid shit. And try to think when people are gonna die, waiting for people to die. You think I'm gonna be nice to these people? Excuse me? Yeah, I don't think so. It's self-defense, Nixie. It's not offensive, it's defensive. Yeah, oh yeah, Keaton Bear, I was, you're not modded? Okay, can you kick out all the stupid fucking assholes? Thank you. That smells like I thought Yabba was you. What's wrong with looking like me? I'm sorry. Like, I find I'm prettier than her in the face. I don't care. Yeah, Tracy, lay it down hard. I find my channel fine, Lyric, when I look it up. That's weird. Cabbage Patch is actually accurate. I'm allowed, I'm human. I'm allowed to be mad and I'm not gonna apologize for anything. I don't care. I'm not gonna apologize for what I eat, for failing on a diet. Fuck everybody. And I'm not gonna apologize for defending myself. I don't care. Hi, Ma Hi my morning bees. Thanks, Damon Amber. Too light, yeah, because I'm like, well, Salah's already fallen asleep, but we, I was gonna say we have to go to bed early because my appointment's pretty early, you know? Yeah, Lara, I'll be whenever I want. Oh, it's the reality of it. Meanwhile, you're gonna tell, you're gonna listen to someone who's f like in the 300 pounds? You're gonna listen to someone who's overweight trying to tell another fat person what their reality is? Stuff it. Another one's a friggin' doesn't even have a neck anymore and chain smokes. You think I'm gonna give a shit what these people say? And then they're planning my funeral. Um, excuse me, <laughs> reality check for yourself too. That's all I'm saying. Thanks, Royal Frog. And I answered your question, Nixie. That's it. So yeah, no, no Ozempic, no Manjaro, no. Yeah, I know Ray Kina Bear. You know, a lot of that Shakara Transformations bodybuilder girl, she's trying to do this stuff and she eyeballs. Yeah, I was at like 370, which is reasonable based on her photos. Yeah, she's definitely obese. Like she has no, you know, she like has chipmunk cheeks. I don't know where she did. She has the nerve to, okay, chins. Imagine a freaking full grown adult woman, mother calling, like spending her career, calling somebody chins. What the f, f kind of person are you? You're an idiot. Like, stop inbreeding. Stop it. Your family needs to stop inbreeding. You get dumber and dumber. Anyways. People are dumb, and this is bothering me. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So yeah, I think all this started when someone asked me what, it, what I think of people planning my funeral. I, I don't... What, what kind of answer am I supposed to say to that? I mean, really. <laughs> like, didn't people not realize how stupid and sick that is, or what? I'm feeling a lot better, actually. I don't feel tired. I think the I took my antibiotic. I have to take it in another like seven hours. And I have to take my insulin, which I'm kind of nervous for, actually. I haven't done it before. I used to inject Ozempic. I don't know. It's something uh, like they told me how to. But yes, inbreeding, hillbilly inbreeding. When you were gone, they had to dig deep and find Chantel 2.0 because they just can't live without you. Yeah, they're trying to find someone else to pick on. How about you turn the camera around and pick on your effing self? Because you're a whole fucking cow and a half. You don't realize it. You're the biggest cows, you're dumb. <sighs> I think her foot's gonna fall off. Wow, that's so inspirational content right there. You really make me, I, how do people even not find that funny beyond the age of six? Seriously. People are dumb, I can't handle it. I, I get enraged by dumb people, if you haven't noticed. Dumb hypocrites, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> Their time is over, good, goodbye. 
I'm just here to be an asshole. Good. I feel like one right now. It's disgusting. They are. They're disgusting. That I ate more? No. I haven't really had much of an appetite this whole time I've been sick. Hey, Tara. So then, like, I've been eating just, like, small amounts. You know what I mean? So that's all I can really stomach right now. Actually, even the, like, the, I don't know. I think the cheese might have been a little much. I haven't really been eating cheese, but that's okay. They've exposed themselves to be evil and cruel, and for what reason? They're dysfunctional as fuck. Just look at their lives. Yeah, exactly. They always talk about how boring and I am, and I never do anything, and I'm lazy, and I don't go out. Really? <laughs> Where's your fucking Thailand vlog? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut up. I don't go anywhere. You know how many times I've traveled back and forth between Canada and the Middle East? Something none of you could ever do. You would cry like a baby. Baby. Trust me. I, I remember. No, I have to friggin' after I eat, I like to brush them, but... Karma will bite. I know. I'm patient. <laughs> and if they're hoping that I die, because because they're planning my funeral, like people were saying, they're gonna be disappointed. But, if I do die, you're screwed too. Because, uh, yeah, you have a scab of doo-doo. Who's gonna feed your kids? Who have a, a stepmother who calls them unfortunate looking? Who's gonna pay your rental house, the house that you rent, who's gonna pay that? No more foodie beauty, Canadian pig money. Yeah, well, okay. So you better hope that I live a long time, asshole. I wanna, I love when you get bitchy. I wanna look bang chili dogs and onion rings and tater tots and curly fries. Yum, no thanks. <laughs> Barf, she'll just get back on government assistance. Is that what she was on before? It's talking about someone's death is sick. Yeah, they all do that. I don't know. She looks like she's on her last leg. I, on your mama's stream, one of her brain dead, fucking stupid, moronic audience members was like, her mom should call a 8110 on her and have a doctor pick her up. Oh yeah, let's have a doctor from Canada come all the way to Kuwait and come and get me a four-year-old woman and force me what to do. <laughs> yeah, sure. Darwin Award of the Year. Oh my god. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I can't, I can't even, like, be serious about it. Like, what? I don't know. I used to eat microwave cheese, yeah. I'm a food addict and I have an eating disorder. I know it's hard to believe for people or people don't have any idea, concept of what that is, but there's something called Google. No no one knows when someone else is gonna die. Nobody, you're not God. Oh, thank goodness you're not God. Diabetic cake, oh. I wanna look and see what we have for that, like if we have monk fruit or something, you know? Spicy Chantal, yeah. <laughs> I suppose, but yeah. I guess I'm just bitchy today. I don't know. I hate those people. They're stupid and they're good for nothing. Seriously, they contribute like nothing but negative. You should have made quesadillas or a grilled cheese sandwich. Look for sugar alternatives. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah, you get used to it, I'm sure, after a point, you know? They woke up angry, Zainab. They put the finger at everyone else, but they're like super unhealthy. I'd like to see all their stats and labs. Exactly, right? And their daily routine of what they eat. Honestly, I do not think some people know how hard and painful to have a binge eating disorder trying to recover from the said disorder and have to lose weight for health reasons. Of course, yeah, it's so hard. Okay, well, goodbye, kill face peas. See ya. No more fast food, no. Mm -mm. I'm trying to eat just like normal, nutritious food. Especially if I get like a second chance here. I don't know, maybe being me, me, be more dramatic about it, but thank you, Blacks. I'll be okay, guys. I'm just venting, like, you know, sometimes, like, when people ask me about something, that's my opinion. And I like dumb people, ignore people who are like dumb, they just enrage me, like, at how stupid they are sometimes. <clears throat> no, that's what, like, but I, I never imagined that reaction channels would be like, like, unfortunately, the, one, the ones who are most on my ass are the dumbest. Like, they're the dumbest. I, I don't know, like, they really are. I don't know if you guys hear the conspiracies they say. I think a lot of people just go there and the, to chat with people and like just hate on the same person. You say the same shit over and over every day, every day, the same, same, same shit. Talking about my diabetes, uh, how bloated I look, how whatever, like, you know, like what I'm eating. It's like so repetitive. Hey, happily sober. I want to try these pickles. I wish I could dill and mustard seed, but I think it's going to be good. And whole garlic is really good for you too. I don't care if I have bad breath. <laughs> I'm still going to kiss a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot the lemon juicy water. Oh, I wanted to put lemon on it. <laughs> right, exactly. I think they did that because you went back to eating fast food. Okay, and they don't eat fast food or what? 
Hello? Like, <laughs> how are they fat then? This is not sugary bread, YouTube lover. This is like, I'm allowed to eat whole grain carbs, like in moderation, I had it one piece. So no, I don't agree with you, I'm sorry. I think eating sugary carbs, if I was eating like a little Debbie cake, yes. A little piece of multi-grain baguette, no. I don't agree with that. Um, they served me, YouTube lover, they served me white rice in the hospital, <laughs> like on a diabetic eating plan while I was there. So, I mean, I don't know, and grapes. Mm, yeah, Paula, yeah, for sure. I don't know, they'll be ready tomorrow, I guess. We will have to wait and see. Uh, so it's 5.43, so if I want to go to bed by protein shakes, like the protein powder, you know, it's 5.43 p.m. Second, I don't know. I think it's a cheese, Zena. Will I use all those? Inshallah. What is this? It's a peach. What the hell happened to it? Ow, I thought they were supposed to be brown. I'll leave it later, I gotta wash it. Everyone eats fast food, you're eating more healthy. Yeah, I was just like at a point where I was like, I, I admitted that, I'm like in denial about it, like, you know? But don't come for me about eating fast food when you're clearly not healthy yourself. Um, you know, the people who do the criticizing, one's built like a bullfrog or the friggin' penguin from Batman, and the other one's a friggin' hillbilly cabbage patch doll. Get a life. <sighs> Protein powder. <laughs> I don't like those. <laughs> I guess you could add peanuts butter, maybe? I believe. Food addiction is tough, yeah. It is. And eating disorders and everything, you know? <gasps> Ribe, yum. Actually, that sound does sound good. Quinoa does sound good in a salad, like, I don't know. A bullfrog, Denise, it's true. I don't know what I mean by how Western. It was just, I got very similar treatment, like, you know? Yeah, I went back into hiding after getting fat shamed for f I know, camera's back off. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> like, I out to ALR. I think I have food addiction and it's hard for me to eat nutritious food. Yeah, because I mean, you, nutritious food is not addictive. Do you ever crave a carrot? Do you ever look at this and go, oh, ooh. I mean, some of you sick-minded people might, but like, you're not gonna be like, I'm gonna go home and binge on carrots. No, it's, who cares about carrots, you know? I like beetroot, yeah. Don't like worry too much about the scale. Have you ever been to USA? Yes, I've been to Florida, New York, New Jersey. I don't sugar than candy bear. I ate it with protein, so I don't know. We'll see. Do you ever crave a whole pineapple? <laughs> no, uh, not a whole pineapple, no. Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> what does Rumpelstiltskin look like? Isn't she like dating? Isn't she have a crush on a guy who's like, she makes fun of my weight. Isn't her boyfriend like morbidly obese and had like human waste and trash all over their house? And you're gonna come for me? Okay. And my husband, get a life. I don't know if that's true, that's what I heard. I don't know who it is, but. You can tell the reaction channels have no idea what it's like to have a food addiction. They would never be this cruel to a drug addict. Well, look at Scabadoo's late baby husband or whatever you want to call it. Baby daddy, overdosed. And you'd think she'd have, be more understanding, but not, what do you mean tell these reaction channels? What are you talking about, Yabba Dabba Scabba? She's in her 300s, she has an eating problem. So does French fried ghoul. She doesn't have a neck anymore. Like what, like, are, you want to talk about delusional? Delusion is sitting there talking like you know any effing thing about someone else's eating problems when you're turning off the camera and scarfing down a fucking large pizza yourself. Like what? Like, that's delusion. Uh, oh, shut up, Sarah. Who cares what you think? Goodbye. I don't know that. It makes it worse. They are horrible people. Yeah, exactly, Beppis. Like, whatever. So then Christians, just because they don't wear a hijab, them being wonderful people sitting there and swearing at others is not not uh, crazy. Get out of here. Stupid people. <sighs> Everyone's deluded. Everyone has issues. I don't know why people bother pointing fingers at each other. We're all shit. Sorry to tell you. They're all obese. Be obese. It's literal delusion. They have been saying for how long they're on a spike diet. I'm sorry. They're all exactly blacks. Like, I would rather be my weight, have my life, my face, than look like FF Ghoul. Like, I really, I can't tell you how much I would not want her sad life. Nope, you can keep all your crappy, hateful, piece of shit, dumbass. She has a following, you know, like, who her following is like? Kalari, an idiot. She, this idiot is bigger than me and calls me a heifer. Bigger. And has no teeth. Like, has any nerve talking about my, my looks. And will sit there and be like, so you're going to talk about my looks? I'm a published author. Who gives a shit? So is the person who wrote Twilight. <laughs> They'll publish anybody these days. Published author. 
like the point is this idiot comes from my looks when they're no looker themselves so somebody needs a reality check sometimes hey little nitty yeah sunset true brianna i'm a bitch i don't know why you keep being surprised and saying yikes yes this is how i am okay <laughs> no is i don't like any of them and i don't watch anybody so i don't care slander will not be tolerated <laughs> Oh, Brenda, those those books are sh crap. Hey, Lolo. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better, actually. Thank you. Harry Houdini, that's his new name, Polly. They clearly have food issues, though, and also have had drug problems. Call it projection. Yeah. Mm. I don't smoke anything anymore. But look at the ghoul. I'm chain smokes, you can tell. You don't have a freaking voice sounding like uh, you're starting a car engine when you're laughing if you don't smoke 20 packs a day. Sh yeah, Polly, exactly. I tried reading Twilight and that's it. That's all I gotta say. No, Wizard, where did you get that? I don't even know, really even know that person, they're so forgettable. I hate all you freaks. Not Beezers, of course I love my Beezers. I mean, you know who I mean. I'm a sweary Christian, I hope they love Yeah, do you not, you don't believe in God, right, damn it, Amber, because you get mad and swear sometimes. Ah. Uh, it's not like I can pull off my hijab to friggin' swear. My husband would probably not like that too much. Just saying. <laughs> like, every time I swear I'm gonna take my hijab off or what? No. I'll just, I don't know, ask for forgiveness later, I don't know. Who's a published author? The double white Tyson Gap. <laughs> I don't know, somebody who, like, a super fan of the dumb, stupid, dumb, uh, two other big freaking reactors who are like, I don't know. I remember he didn't like, <laughs> Alex the Shook. <laughs> yeah. I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you, and I don't like you. Oh, <laughs> feel bad for me. <laughs> When they put it there, I'm like, one time they put it here. You ever have a freaking needle stuck in your freaking knuckle? Like, why would you do that? I don't even see my veins. How do they even tell? Ugh. Just feeling for it grosses me out. Do you feel your veins? <laughs> I mean, I'm fleshy, so I don't know about that. <sighs> yeah, no, before they did. And I had my blood taken in my foot before, too. Anyway, you know, sometimes I envy those people who all they do is bitch and get praised for it because when I like defend myself or I retort back and say something, all that happens is I get to, like, oh, see, she's, uh, oh my gosh, she's raging. Oh my gosh, she's such a horrible person. Why we can't talk about Kalari's missing teeth? The hate channels talk about your teeth endlessly from plaque to the formation. Yeah, exactly. At least I have some in my effing head. Exactly. And FFG, she doesn't even look like she has any teeth. Her teeth are so fucking baby small. What? Yeah, I know, right? The, like, they're more experienced at labs or something. I don't know, Rebe, it's so weird. But the nurses in the hospitals usually, yeah, they have a harder time than, like, people who take blood all, I don't know. Because, like, you think they know, they start IVs. But I was, like, worried because the veins in your hands are smaller. And it's like, oh, I don't know. I had a surgery, huge bruise on me. It sucks, eh, Kaylee? ECP, hello. Where's after she's teeth? When she's yelling in the video at Shannon's, you can't, like, if you yell, <laughs> you see, you see teeth? None for her, it's like, yeah, that's how it is for her. And she was making fun of my aunt, saying she looks like a man in that moment. Saying she looks like a man when she looks like actual Peter Griffin. Or like, I swear. Non-animated ver female version. Yeah, I know, Beth. This is pathetic. Who cares? Use their content, even if I only get like a thousand views per video. I don't give a shit. That adds up, I'm telling you. I don't even, like, I can tell. Like, there's a reason she doesn't cam up. Foodie Beauty reacts back. <laughs> Just stream snipe them, imagine. No, it's made up, Zainab. Totally fictitious. Have you ever seen any evidence of her having a happy life with a man or him anywhere? Like, even in the shower, accidentally farting, some, something. Some sign of, you know? No, it's, there's none. There's none. It's a sad lie, and it's embarrassing. Botox, no. <laughs> no, my skin is not that good. But thank you. I have, like, rosacea. I would never get Botox, yeah. I'll let my right self wrinkle. I don't know. People overdo the Botox and it just, it's jelly. Thanks, Brianna. I don't know, maybe genetic. I've got eyes and an opinion. Kalari's got a hell of a lot of nerve talking about any other woman's look. I know, she looks ridiculous. She's on her ex squeaking at like the table. The exercise bike is for dear life. And she's just sitting there like talking about the 4th of July and like just calling me a heifer. Can you imagine? What are you then? Oh, a woolly mammoth? Really? Okay, so if I'm a heifer, you're the woolly mammoth. Thank you, Panji. And you can't be mad. You can't be mad, Biatch, because you came for me first. You came for me first. I didn't even know you existed. 
Sardines, really? Oh no, I can't eat sardines, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry, she's, she's an accountant. Oh, and she's also a published author. Yes, yes. I don't know, it doesn't look too professional to me to have no front teeth, like that would be a priority for me. They hate themselves and they project that onto you. They're jealous of you living your life unapologetically. They think you shouldn't have that right. <laughs> yeah, well, you know where they can shove it. <laughs> Rebe, I think you're right, yeah. I think I know that too. I just like running my mouth sometimes. I'm telling you, if I can't tell people to F off once in a while, I just, it's not living. Azur, oh, I don't know, a bunch of true crime. Author, anyone can self-publish. Yeah, I plan on it in the future. I'm gonna write a book. I like smelling this peach. It's so peachy. I know it. I have to take a bite. I don't care if I get like pesticide abuse. It's so juicy and so good. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to get a juice of fruit that is just right. Not too sweet, not too sour. Mm. I don't care how they look. Like, I'm not the one every day abusing somebody on how they look. Like, at some point, I need to turn around and be like, excuse me? You are calling me a what? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. The delusion is real. Now they're from the market. But that'll be it for me. I could probably eat like 10 of those, but I'll just eat one. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't taken the insulin yet. Peach smelling candle are the best. I've been fasting a lot. I feel like my appetite is slowly coming back now though. Like, I'm starting to feel better. So I gotta really watch, I gotta really be con like conscious and on top of it. Like, okay, you had a peach, no more sugar, nothing else for tonight. What is hot to I don't even know what this is, you know? Yes, I know what Kirsch means. I said myself, I have a Kirsch wood. Take the insulin because you'll get a low sugar overnight. The doctor said to take it in the evening, maybe now, 8, 6 p.m. here. I had my metformin twice already today. Okay, should I try it? I can do it now. I just won't show it. I wonder if I should take it now. I'm gonna put my fridge pickles back. I can't wait to eat these. It's just vinegar, water, and uh, salt. A bit of olive oil. Dried, oh, dried mango is so good. I don't care, like, Azur, I don't mind people like talking about me, but it's like people who like build careers off of like hate channels and just sit there and insult and like are disgusting when they themselves are disgusting and it, I just hate hypocrisy, I hate dumbness, like dumb, stupidity, like people, I don't know, is dumbness even a word? But like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes they, they like, they go too far every single fucking day. Like, you don't need my content? You don't need me? You don't need me? My channel would be better without you? Okay, prove it, prove it. Because all you're doing is proving me right. <laughs> like, <sighs> any thoughts on Miriam Lady? This no. Get a dehydrator for drying fruit. You can make healthy fruit candles. Try the olive oil in my refrigerator pickles. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, I like olive oil, like the taste of it. <sighs> yeah, they don't deter me from wanting to make content, Bepis, other than them being vultures and stealing my shit. Like, get, get, a, get a personality, get your own friggin' content, get a life. If I say health journey and then I go back to fast food, it's either because I have in my mind, like, I don't want to over-restrict myself and I go into this, like, weird mindset i don't know how to explain it but like food has a complete control over me that i've never been able to like i can't control myself like i feel like you know and nobody's going to change that no deep diving into my childhood is going to change that you know like it's just <sighs> sweet dreams i love that you're firing back hey hey thank you kelly dusty that's nice of you <laughs> have a good night thank you i've deleted my apps so many times and do you know how many times i just reactivate them <laughs> you know Ozempic is the only thing that, yeah, food noise, that's exactly what it's called, yeah. Even though Ozempic, I remember being on it and still feeling great a lot of the time. It helped me lose a bit of weight, though. React to my old videos. It's okay, Rebe. I gotta do it, you know? I have to do it. I don't know the backup part. You've got something they don't have. Charisma and sense of humor. Thank you. Ugh. I also have sciatica. I forgot about that effing stupid... Of course he gets it to anybody who shits on me in any way or talks about me that's not like kissing my ass um not being a hateful buffoon is gonna get a lot of support immediately immediately they jump on it like friggin' flies on shit you don't have to restrict you had some cheese today so balance is key 
you can have the things you love with balance. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, you know? That's what that's my mindset, though, when I try to eat fucking junk food, is, okay, I can eat like a normal person, like, but it never works out that way. And it's not good for my health right now. Like, I can't eat it, you know? So, yeah, I haven't had a fast food or anything like that. So now I'm starting to feel better. I was exactly in this position not long ago, remember? I lost 15 kgs again before. And now I'm start, my appetite's starting to come back and I'm starting to like, I don't know, be a bit obsessive about food. Like I've noticed like, I've been loving to organize my kitchen, like putting the cheese here, putting, you know, and it's like, I don't know. I'm just like weird, obsessed, like a weird obsession. Like, I don't know. <sighs> those clothes are boring. You can change those. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to, I have no choice. Like. You know, I'm out of friggin' uh, tickets here. <sighs> but I keep getting sick because I have to change. Like, I have to. So, I'm not gonna go on more insulin. Like, what am I gonna do? Be one of those people who takes insulin, injects injects more and more so you can eat a friggin' large pizza? Like, no. That's exactly what you'll do. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that counting sheet. Nope. But yeah, that's what I was thinking that I'm like, like, what if I wanted to eat like junk food? Like, I'd have to inject insulin. Like, ah, oh, okay, now I can eat. Like, that's so, no, that's so messed up. Hey, Jessica. I'm feeling actually a lot better, yeah. I'm happy about that, actually. I was really... I did a lot today. I made a soup. <laughs> hey, I was, like, bedridden, like, bedbound bees for, like, a few days. Change for... You have to change for yourself, yeah. People say it's not the same, but me gaining weight is a battle. I've been on a journey to gain weight. Hey, Robert, yeah, there's a lot of people in your boat, yeah. You know, weight issues is not just overweight, for sure. It's hard on either end. Hey, Ghostface Beezer colorful food yeah it makes it more enticing yeah really yeah it will it gets boring the mukbang con only mukbang content anyways like if i want to eat with you guys like this or something like that or if we go out to eat like that's you know or if i cook something and i eat it on camera it's different but like just i don't know I'll not, i don't think i'll ever try even to go back to being like one of those people that just does mukbangs just for eating the food you know Herodians. should i take my needle now Depends when I go to bed, I think. Which will probably be in like, I don't know. I think so. I don't want to wake him up. Like, I feel like he'll be like, why don't you wake me up to go to bed? And then I, if, if I wake him up, I don't want to like irritate him to wake him up. I don't know. People are not like, they're just, they're when they're out of it, like you have to keep waking them up. Like he's a solid sleeper. Like, like sometimes he always does this. Like if we're in bed, <laughs> he always ends up rolling over. He's tall. He's like six foot something, right? And he's like heavy enough. And he rolls over like on me, like literally. <laughs> He'll just be like, uh, and it's all fine. So I literally have to like, uh, like literally shove him hard. And he doesn't feel it. He doesn't even notice. Like if someone touches me lightly in the night, I'm gonna feel it and wake up. Like he just, if he just like moves, I'm like, <laughs> like why do you wake? Why did you wake up? Like I don't want to wake you up because the sleep pattern lately, like it's just so off for us. Um, like the other day, like when we went to the hospital, we went super early in the morning and like not long after fracture time and i don't like he pretty much just no when no we didn't when did we wake up it was even earlier than that we didn't even sleep i don't think that's the problem yeah and he had to stay awake like he stayed awake like the whole he was worried he didn't i'm like go to bed like i'm gonna be here in observation for a long time you know he was waiting to hear so his, his schedule was thrown off so he was like awake he just went to bed like maybe not that long ago like he'll be out for a while, a while but he only needs like six hours of sleep i need like eight or nine or ten thanks ghost face i hate being touched while i'm about to sleep <laughs> thanks ecp yeah he just falls asleep just like that i know him he, we were gonna try both to stay awake like until maybe 11 at least even 10. um so that's why i'm doing this live stream early so that like you know that we could watch a movie and like relax and and then go to sleep together at a decent hour because we have to be up early and like have a normal day but he's already asleep i know him he won't i knew he wouldn't be able to do it i'm not really that tired i think i slept enough the past like week there but they post without you they can't tangy they literally can't post anything if you notice that if i'm gone sick for a few days it'll be a whole like three hour stream about where i am uh am i dead am i am i doing a visa run <laughs> Like, who cares? Like, I don't know, it's so weird. I don't know, I've never met people like this in my life. There's no other YouTubers on the planet that have this problem. It's like a unique me problem. Oh man, it's the same way. You just gotta listen to your body, I love sleeping. I love sleeping too, yeah. I like relaxing and just like, but I can't just fall asleep like anywhere. There have to be certain conditions. Like yesterday, I could not, like, like in the hospital, it was so hard to sleep. It was like, 
the lights, like I was in the room with somebody and they were constantly turning the lights on and the light they would turn on, they would also turn mine on at the same time and then turn mine off. Like, I don't know, it was really weird. And then this one person was like freaking out the entire time. It was so noisy and the light and I can't. And she seems like a soft, soft person. So if she doesn't like the person, it'd be hard for her to kick them out maybe. I would be like, you gotta go. I had a roommate once and she was like my best friend at the time. And she was so, fuck you think I'm messy? When I'm depressed, sure, I let things go when I'm not feeling well, but I can't stand at a certain level. Like her room was a mount, like a floor of garbage. I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> and like, she wasn't paying me rent. She's like, once I get a job, I'll pay you rent. Bad mistake, I'd never move in with someone broke. And she, one time I came home from work, I was so tired. I just wanted to have my own time on my computer. I had a brand new computer. You know, you ever buy one of those computers on like a payment plan? I was like a broke ass. This, I was like probably, this was my first apartment. I was like early, or I was like 20 and I had no money. So I bought a computer on installment. You end up paying like 4,000 for the stupid, you know? Anyways, <laughs> I come home. I wanted to spend time on my computer. She was using it. She was using my new computer. Like, how dare you? And her freaking cousin was sleeping over. Like, you didn't even ask me, it's my house. So just that she felt entitled to use my things, like without, I don't know. I just don't like people touching my things and using my things, really. So I kicked her out. I had to tell her, like, even though she was my friend, I'm like, listen, what, what can we call her? I'm like, Penelope, if you don't move out, we're gonna not be friends anymore. So I don't want that to happen. You know, like in my head, I'm like, you're lazy and you don't have a job and you kind of just, no, it's my house. And I was going to work. I was going to work every single day. I hated my job. And I was going to work like 10 hour shifts at a call center. I hated the job. And to come home to her using my stuff with her cousin in a mountain of garbage? <laughs> I don't think so. Put a lock on me. <laughs> a mountain of clothes. It was wild. Tell that monkey to Luffy. Is it, um, I saw that. What, what restaurant was it again? Goodbye. Jim Bob, that looks like Yabba Scabba. That's where I still feel like I'm sick. Like my appetite is not fully back. And even then I'm not eating junk food. That crazy old lady in my life can't make up her mind. One minute she's telling you you're enough salt to her senses. But when you go silent, she cries, where are you Chantal? If I assault your senses and you still watch me, you're a masochist, that's your problem. They would only shower when it rained outside. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I had a roommate like that. He never showered. It was so gross and he smelled like garlic bologna. Was Pete's the garlic bologna roomie? Mm, no, it was actually one of his friends though. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. So if somebody's streaming me right now, what time is it in America? It's morning, do these people don't have a job or what? Like they say they have garlic bologna, yeah. Pete's didn't smell like deli meat or anything. He smelled fine, I mean like closet. <laughs> he didn't wear perfect cologne, so what's he gonna smell like? <laughs> it is specific. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take my insulin. Oh, he's talking to other women. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Not give a shit. Get out of here, you freaking. <laughs> I'm gonna get my insulin. <sighs> okay, I have mad anxiety right now. I don't see my... Collect for CRA, <laughs> if you called me. Okay, five units, a hundred units. What? Milliliters are units? All right. Wait, I wanna take my blood sugar before, but I'm not showing you what the result is. My heart's pounding like, so I know I have to keep track of this. Your job. I'm about to take insulin. I know I'm crazy. They ruined these fingers. I gotta do it on this one. The way you do, we what you do. The way you do, we what you do. 
Oh, and that was enough for the tummy. Yes. Yes. I will show my blood sugar. Okay, so that's what it is. Now with the insulin, let's see what happens. Am I supposed to just go in like that? Oh. And then what? Oh. Okay, five units. Okay, where's my... I'm just gonna grab a piece of fat. Done. So I throw this out every time, right? This needle? I need a sharps container. Okay, and now it says to just keep it, I can keep it out. Not in the fridge. Yeah, it says, um, once in use, vials may be stored. Okay, unopened vials, store in five units, yeah. Store in refrigerator, do not freeze. Then once in use, vials may be stored in a maximum of four, for maximum of four weeks, not above 30 degrees Celsius. Oh, it's never 30, above 30 here. I'm gonna ask more at the doctor tomorrow because I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. So that's my, that's it. Now he's like, if five units, you know, we're gonna start you on the small, small dose. They're so like opposed to starting me on insulin. I don't know why. Like I've asked them, like I would rather be on insulin than take these pills actually, honestly. Yeah, I did it. Teardrop. So I took five units. What do you guys take if you take insulin? Five units. And then he said, if it's like, you notice your blood sugar's not being regulated, go up like a unit or so. Really, Amani? They didn't mention like anything about food, not much. Just like little t like little things. They started me rice at the hospital, I don't know what to say with that. Time you took it, it's 6, 6.30 p.m. here. I could just probably go to the pharmacy and ask for a sharps container. So I'll write down what I want to ask the doctor tomorrow and then go from there. I'm supposed to go for like a diabetes um, education thing actually. A needle cutter? It's hard for, yeah, I'll have to check. Not everything is as accessible here online as it is in like America on Amazon or, you know, the pen is so much more convenient. Yeah, I used to give myself injections of blood thinner injections, but Atlantis, a hundred units. So if I take five, that doesn't, that doesn't last that long. Type two can turn to type one. Do you feel the insulin working? How can I tell? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to take my blood test again in like maybe an hour or two. Yeah, you don't reuse the needles. That's for sure. That's why I have such a huge box of them. Well, maybe that will work. We'll see. If not, I'll, you know, I'll see the doctor tomorrow and see what they say. I wish they could say, just take more insulin and stay off those pills. They give me gut rot. <laughs> so I guess I can leave this out because the temperature here is not 30. That's for sure. So is Ozempic, Ozempic is not insulin, right? Is it? Thanks, Tiffany. That's nice of you to say. I also hate that those shit people make fun of diabetes. Like, how is that funny? Like, I don't know. And they probably have so many diabetic people in their audience who just sit there and eat their shit with a friggin' spoon and smile. Like, oh, they're making fun of me too in the process, but it's okay because they're making fun of Foodie Beauty. Like, super dumb people. You guys are not dumb. You are an amazing audience. My husband get, eats poorly and cigarette smokers, so I'm surprised he doesn't, ah. Uh, yeah, it's people, you, you would think like, once you get diagnosed with something like serious, that it's enough to change your life, but it's like not right away sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's hereditary and people are mean. Yeah, sometimes it's hereditary. There's different reasons why people get it. I have a huge pimple. Remember when people thought this mark on my lip was a crack pipe burn? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> to make fun of any health issues is low empathetic and evil, yeah. Exactly. I don't know where I'm gonna put the needle. I guess in the trash, I mean, I don't have a choice. It didn't know, but I'm not infectious with anything. Cholesterol is 305, but I refuse to take the medication due to side effects, so I get it. Yeah, Christy, it's not always easy, you know? My blood pressure was 107. It was not high at all. 107 over, I can't remember. That's the lowest it's ever been. That's herpes. <laughs> this is just discoloration. Herpes is like crusty and weird. Okay, goodbye, ghost face. I won't be on too long either, I don't think. 
I'm pretty tired. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, it's only 6.30. You know when you're waiting to go to bed? <laughs> you're so tired. The muscle spasms and tummy problems. It makes you more sick sometimes. Bye. Diabetic dog, aww. You had to give them insulin? Julia, your caboose is out. It's still light out. How can I go to bed when it's still light out? Drastic diet change. Ugh. <laughs> I know, I probably should be even more drastic, yeah. But for being drastic is like no fast food and like not overeating. That's like success for me right now. <laughs> That's the rumor, Luna. That hyperglycemia and when my sugar drops, it's so horrible. I feel like that. Hypoglycemia, yeah. You just feel like lightheaded at first, teardrop? Anglerfish. <laughs> no, goblin fish, exactly. It's a specific fish. Change has to happen mentally. You got that, Isapi. You're one bright star. <laughs> I haven't been taking it, Anita, no. And honestly, I think it's because I'm still fighting an infection that I'm tired. How long does it take after you eat something sweet that you feel normal? Diabetic cat, wow. Are they overweight or normal? I have my dog six units in the morning and... Wow, she's on a higher dose than me. Poor thing. You have health insurance for your pets? Why the orange tablets have sugar in them? Oh. What about like a candy? Hmm. I hate sitting for too long. It gets on my nerves. It gets on my sciatic nerve. <laughs> you guys are tied to having C. diff previously as well. I wants to. Um, no, it's not C. diff. It's sugar, uh, blood sugar related, the doctor said. That you get infections. Like if your blood sugar, su mine was super high. My former help, my husband has lots of weight, really. Well, that's good though, yeah. I'm glad for him, that's awesome. I've been on it, 99 and I don't know, maybe. How does Shmi react to the news? How do you think, Brenda? She's worried about me, obviously, you know. 43 pounds. I guess like, you know, I'm gonna see the internist tomorrow. I'll ask about like the best routine for me for like ongoing, but I don't know. Like, I don't think the infection is gone fully. So that affects your blood sugar, you know? Yeah, asleep, yep. He fell asleep like even earlier than this. I'm like, I'm, I'm talking to him. I'm like, I'm going live and messaging him. And then I go into the Harry's room and he's snoring, like snoring. But he's not, doesn't look comfortable in that visit, like on the couch, he's tall. But I'm like, I don't want to disturb him, but I don't want him to wake up with a cramped neck, you know? Hey, side girl. I wish me would live here with me. Uh, I'm okay, side girl, how are you? No, I'm not taking dirty hands. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I swore a lot in this live stream. Stuff from love. She would not move here. She would never take a long plane like that. Look at that. I have, I have wrinkles. Yeah, Sam's okay. He's still with the same lady. So the, the girl, the younger girl, who took Sam, decided to go away to college. Hi, Kim. So he's living in a very nice cozy home with her mom. And I get videos all the time. Her mom's like an older lady, not like old, like unhealthy, but you know, and she'll send videos. Sam is like beside her and she's petting him. And she's like, Sam, you're such a good boy. You know how he is. So, and she knows the situation that like, you know, you don't know what the future holds. So it's open to the, me getting him back if I ever do go back to Canada. I don't know, Tanji. They have like some thing where they have to, like, they're, they're waiting to see me fail or die and they're going to be waiting for fucking ever. And I hope you have glasses on because you're going to be seeing a big, big change and a lot of traveling and living life, which is something they'll never do. No, he's not shuffled around. No, I could show you guys the video and maybe blur out the lady, but he's doing well. Video proof that he's doing well. So yeah, he's my boy. BBJ, I've already like made peace with that. To me, she's deceased and gone, like so. But um, Sam, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Chili Yves, I miss him a lot. He's definitely part Maine Coon, he's so huge. He's my big boy. I want to spank his butt. I don't think she would like him. He would bug her. He bugged BBJ all the time. Bad boy. Sam was so fluffy. Uh, his pink nose. She was the best cat, like honestly. He was the best cat. I miss him so much. I do every day, honestly. I miss my cats. Is insulin expensive? Mm, I don't know how much this was. I'd have to ask the law. 
don't know. You went and got it and everything for me from the pharmacy. What have I missed? Have you been in hospital? Yeah, I have a side girl. Kidney infection. Chubby moves and beige leg. Yeah, he had two beige legs. Like what? Why? What kind of freak are you? <laughs> and his breasts smell like fish. <sighs> yeah, Shimpy, thank you. I'll try my best. We'll see. I made a commitment and, you know, I feel like home now and I'm trying my best here. I know I can always go home if I have to. I also, like, I don't know. Thanks, Angie. Do you miss her bald spots? Yeah, I miss her too. I miss BBJ. Sham is a chubby moosh. The bald spots, they smelled like old people. They didn't talk about diet right now. It was just the emergency, so there, I have follow-up appointments. We're so probably gonna talk about that. If not, I'll ask. Salah is so cute when he comes to the appointments with me, which is like always. <laughs> but he, he's one of those people that ask a lot of questions at the doctor. So he'll be like, um, so doctor, like, um, what, you know, what things can she eat like and stuff like that? I'm like, we're gonna, babe, we're gonna do it. It's okay, I. <sighs> Upgraded for Julia. Oh my, yeah. Yeah, oh, I see, side girl. <laughs> You can, you really can. I believe it, and it's chimpy. <laughs> I like saying chimpy. They speak English. It depends, when we would go to like an Arabic clinic, like the government one, the doctors, some of them didn't speak any English, but at the hospital, they all did. Do you miss pizza lots? Sometimes I miss like the times we had together, but we keep in touch, Brenda, like. Do you have a mailing box? No, side girl, I don't. I have, maybe uh, if I can send it to a uh, post office, I'll ask, okay, and I'll let you know. Such a caring hubby. Thanks, teardrop. It is, I mentioned that because it's nice to feel like somebody cares, you know? I had like caring boyfriends, like, like you know, um, like BB was very caring too, so you know, but after going through what I went through with the fucking monstrous piece of human waste garbage shit, who like, I swear if we ever see him in person, I want a lot to stomp his face. After that, it's nice to have someone else who was like concerned, you know? Even if we're not perfect and we've been through things and we had that incident, you know, still, I still feel like the love, I still feel the caring, you know? And I feel like what happened was for reasons other than, like, it had nothing to do with his love for me. So, that's important. Easter Island, <laughs> Easter Island Camling, Camel, Goblin, Anglerfish. <laughs> Sorry. It's because it's like, it's it's been a long time passing, but I'm still processing. Like, sometimes I, randomly a memory from that time will come up and it will make me so fucking mad and i'm like you know like i don't know so yeah it's, it's I'm, i love it my mom's keep those insults coming okay i'm gonna ask you guys you guys are sweet to want to send something i don't know like mailing things to kuwait would probably be very pricey but i will find out like there's all different post offices all over the area we can probably go to the next post office or the one over there. I don't know. Maybe the same way that we got our YouTube plaque, the YouTube plaque, the way they mailed it here. I'll find out, like, which address, because we don't have residential mail here. Like, I don't have, like, a home address to give you mailing, you know? People can order things from Timmy or Splash and have them sent to you. Oh, yeah. I want a nose hair remover. Look. You see? Yeah. Table's gonna break, it's not comfortable. I wanna lean on it. Don't worry about the money. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I don't have an Amazon wish list, no. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Robin. That's sweet of you. Do you hear that? Someone wants to send you something nice. Let's go see her. <sighs> oh, hold on, let me get up. Oh. Look. <laughs> That's the ocean. Oh, great, my table's messy. Oh, her table's messy. Yes, it is very messy, actually. <laughs> All right. My house needs a big clean. I didn't do, like, anything since being sick. <laughs> Table reveal? No, it's bad. <laughs> I'm slowly trying to, like, get it to where, you know? The table's dirty a lot of the time. Not dirty, but messy, because I always would do my mukbangs there, and I always take my blood there, and I always do everything on it. Is the phone on the wall functional? Yeah. <laughs> you can call that from downstairs. Salah always does if he comes back from somewhere. Like, 
a call sometimes as a joke and I'm like, babe, it's funny, but then I have to get up and answer it. <laughs> yeah, it looks muggy. I don't know, maybe humid, uh, Rebe, it's weird. Or if it's sandy, the air is sandy. <laughs> the table cord is on there anyways right now. My homemade pickle. <laughs> okay, I'll show you the table cord in a minute. Table hoard. <laughs> You're on the couch all day, you've made a tent. <laughs> what was what? Oops. Oh yeah, she kissed me. There's a dent in my tent. <laughs> There's always a tent. <laughs> and I always have thin lovers, so... Like... Salah, right? He's thin, so the bed on my end goes. Psh. What happened, Deirdre? Where? Hi, Jackie. Did you guys see a ghost? Oh, I gotta get off soon. I need to pray for my freaking life. I'm for swearing all night and calling people, telling people to f off, and, and what else and I do in this live alone? That was freaking. Um, I have to move my mattress. <laughs> Flip the mattress time, right? Hexy. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, you gotta live. Yeah. Sometimes I do feel like I'm like a loud person, like with a big personality. So I feel, you know, diabetic friendly pizza, diabetic friendly fried chicken, get a peel box. Mom corner. I'm okay. Okay, I'm gonna clean up first. My house, I feel like everything just looks messy all the time, even. No matter how no matter what. The living room's always spotless. We don't really use it much. Actually, it's really comfortable like this. I need another pillow here over there. How tragic. Go get my mama a pillow. A pillow. Oh. Good night. Yeah, that could be side girl. I believe in signs from God for sure. Show the table hoard. <laughs> it's not a hoard. I told him by showing the table hoard. I don't have to tone to you. You're not God. I live in my bedroom. Side girl, me too. I'm at the kitchen table. Tree lady would always get me. Friggin' weirdos. I know. I'm gross right now. No way, Anita. I have to make sure there's nothing personal on there. <laughs> Many papers or anything. My grandkids here every day, so toys around all the time. Always messy. Always mess, eh? I don't know how people have the energy, like... Look at Nara Smith's house, it's like spotless. They have white everything. If I had white everything, oh my god, it would be friggin' gray. <laughs> it would be so dirty, stains everywhere. Just be thankful you're not on the street like those other cats, okay? Thank you. Looking into the rare ball. Does anyone know if you can get leather paint? Leather paint? If you liquefy the leather, I don't know. What happened, Anna Leverly, like during which scan? Thanks, what, what? My sofa's caramel. Ooh, would make me hungry every day. She's a designer kitty. <laughs> yeah, what breed do you think she is? I don't know, I still can't figure it out. Got any wax melts to eat? No, unfortunately not. Her face is kissable, I know. We're always kissing her smushy face. So I'll we'll hold her for like, I can tell when he's bugging the cat. I'm like, are you bugging the cat? <laughs> Just the way he goes all quiet and then Julia's not around and then I hear I'm like, are you bugging the cat? <laughs> on the screen <clears throat> I know I don't want to I, I don't want to like when I got sick I just couldn't do any cleaning like nothing I couldn't even like stand up really I actually waited too long to go to the hospital I should have gone before emergency French dressing <laughs> no no more so that's why I just got behind a bit it's a lot of help though he did he took care of the pets although I did too like I can't go like a day without seeing Howie and giving him his treats. Like, so I'll make sure they're kept alive, but I make sure they're like super happy. You know what I mean? That's the difference. <laughs> Do they have food and water? Yeah, she has food, like, you know, leftover friggin' welfare crunchies. And then I'm like, no, she needs like her wet food. And you need to like make the spoon really hot, the fork really hot, so it warms up her food and put a little bit of hot water and mix it. 
<laughs> Ew, I don't microwave cheese. Her tail's so cute. Juice! Mama juice. And then, uh, he would like to take care of the garbage in that, because that can pile up easy, especially if you're ordering out. So, <laughs> me, anything within arm's reach, I just put in the bag. But I couldn't even, like, hardly move. I was so dizzy and sick. But now that I'm starting to feel better, I'm starting to slowly, like, do what I can. But I, it's so tempting to just, like, let him pay for a maid and just have her come in and do everything. Like, swallow your pride for a couple hours and then you have a spotless house. But I don't even know, like, where to begin. Like, do you have to direct them what to do? Like, you know, they're not going to know where to put all your, your shit. Actually, I don't really... I guess the one thing that would, if I would find hard recovering is just washing floors and stuff. Change his poopoo pan? Yes. <laughs> we'll go to the pool raging. No. I don't feel like swimming in the public pool anymore. I don't know why. It grosses me out. Like, it really does. No one's there. It's, I know, Salah always gets me to try to go down. He'll go down. He'll check with the, the hattas when the pool was cleaned. And then he'll go down and check and he'll send me a video. I'm like, look how cool, clean the water is, babe. Let's go swimming. And I always say no. <laughs> when I'm sick, forget it too. Margot Robbie is pregnant. Oh yeah, the maid is gonna be super not good looking. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who thinks that way. That's so sweet. The filters are so off right now. But I'm white, they're not on. I don't know, they just like don't work the same. That's so true, Anita. Someone older and uh... Yeah, I know I have to move more. I'm not on a blood thinner. <laughs> Hello, maid, emergency mate or maid agency, send me your ugly ass. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm really not. Even though what happened, guys, I'm not afraid of that happening anymore. At least, like, especially not in person while I'm here, like, so whatever. I can't handle any more medications, so I'll just die, I guess, I don't know. That's why I'm afraid of, like, getting more infection from swimming. Like, public pool, I don't know. Is that the elevator alarm or a kid screaming? Oh, you're not posting a mukbang. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do boring. I get bored of them, with mukbangs. Live ones are fun, but... Yeah, and like, when you're swimming, you always feel like a rush of water in your coop, in your down below, so I'm afraid of like... an infection from swimming, I don't understand. It was cute. Got a shower after. Mm. Yeah, but still. Children stuck on I hear noises. I'm kidding. No, Brenda. <coughs> Too healthy mukbang. <laughs> Muk mukbang. Oh, really, teardrop? Is it uh, warfarin? That's what I, I used to be on warfarin, Kumadin. I almost said the C word. I feel like I have to be really careful what I say. And it's weird. Except sometimes, I don't know, I go full F. That's why sometimes I rage and I go full F bomb because, I don't know. I need to say the F word sometimes. He before and after. <laughs> Clean the table then live? Okay. I'm so tired right now. When did I wake up today? I don't want to go to the appointments. Oh, I hate it. Just like in my life in Canada, I never went to appointments. I hate them so bad. I gotta go to bed now if I'm gonna get up that early. I guess I feel like I kind of have to watch what I say. I mean, I'm not in Canada, you know. <clears throat> it's appointment with an internist. It's very important for you to go through, go though, I know. Yeah, I have to go, so that will not let me miss that. He will harass me, and if I would, would stay in bed, he will <laughs> turn on the lights, turn off the, no, he, will, he won't let me miss that. <clears throat> My glasses are, yeah, they're in the, on the table. No, not for me, Mimi, I have good hygiene for that. I'm very careful, trust me. I have, uh, I, Candy liners, baby powder, I shower often, and uh, no, they say it's probably from the high blood sugars. And the hygiene is way better because of um, the bidet, yeah. Washes the bacteria away. I don't feel good. I feel like watching some kind of backwards horror movie. 
deliverance. Maybe it's all the talk of the reaction channels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really a fucking bitch sometimes. I mean, sorry. It's bad swearing. Yeah, you have to watch. You have to change them regularly. I don't. I hate whenever people call it like women always bash each other on that. Like, we all have issues sometimes. <sighs> We're going to the table. Oh, I got an idea. I already did my insulin. When, when will I know the results? Right now? The blood test? Okay, is there anything personal here or can I show you guys? Okay, here's the table cord. Hold on, I'm gonna shut the kitchen door. <laughs> There's pots in here. Okay, the table cord. from when I took my blood, my glasses, lip injection, random condiments here, uh, juice, box of needles, baguette, a fresh cucumber, homemade pickles, carrots, the soup bowl I was eating from, Kleenex, my coffee from earlier, collard chip, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> dishes, garlic, <laughs> peaches, <laughs> Pokemon ball, Coffee from today, I didn't like. <laughs> and a knife. This can go in the garbage. That's, there's no excuse there, but I'll just... The garbage is in the kitchen, so when I have things that go in the kitchen, I put them here like this. See? Because <clears throat> I'm going to bring this to the kitchen and throw it out. This thing. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, so that's about it. That's my my hoard. That's the new litter. I gotta change her whole litter. That's our wall of water. My mop. My front door. The mirror we look in before we go out. And that's it. This is my table. It looks messy, but there's like just normal things on it. I just gotta take to the kitchen and I'm freaking tired. <laughs> the, the groceries never made some never made it to the kitchen. <laughs> no, these are like newer things I got today groceries from today everything <laughs> no the peaches i got them today and i already had two so i can't have any more how many they're small i like them that's a bit oh boy side girl how much is rent i don't know like the exact amount but i think i don't know i'm trying to do the math i'm so dead i'll ask the exact amount because he has to pay also a fee for like the maintenance guy to clean his car and stuff it's like included in the rent, but it's like makes it higher. So I don't know what like the baseline is. Bye, what, what, thank you. The garlic and cucumber. The, yeah, these are things that came here today, everything. Cause I ordered groceries and I made pickles. And then everything I got here today, even the olive oil. And I got this today too from vinegar making the, I just gotta put everything away. Uh, honestly, I probably won't do it tonight. I'm not lying. I'll probably just, what are you drinking loudly? I'll probably just go like right into bed after this. And then in the morning when I have a bit more energy, bring this stuff in. Oh, I hate it. At least no blue pot. I don't have you. Why do you? Do you have bedroom pickles? I know about CDF. I had it before. I caught it from the hospital. I know how, it, how I feel and how it smells. For more garlic because you're running low. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. I'm running low on garlic, yeah. <laughs> you got jokes. Thank you. I'm gonna organize my, I'm keeping my blood machine open because I'm gonna test it again to see if it worked. The hoard in Howie's room. It's not really a hoard there. It's like just, yeah, like junk, like stuff that we don't have any place for. So I got it's just an organization thing, mostly. So, oh, they really hurt my fingers. I'm gonna be making more pickled garlic. That's why I didn't think it was that much garlic. Oh my god. I gotta make a lot of pickled garlic then. Yeah. I think it's ready. Let me smell it. I don't think so. Isn't it? Mmm. Very vinegary. What about the garlic?
You know what, next time, I'm gonna add olive oil. Well, are you still going on about C. diff? Hi, Eileen, Nikki D, hi. When I had C. diff, they gave me antibiotics. Raw garlic, yep. Ooh, wow. Wow, yeah, that's gonna stink. I should just not wake him up and let him like sleep in there for his own good. When you have C. diff, you know it, yeah. You know something ain't right. And the stink is disgusting. Really, Brenda? I didn't know that. You said C. diff smells like puppy breath. <laughs> it has like a bad breath smell where there shouldn't be one. I don't know how else to describe it, honestly. <laughs> I, always, I always have random weird things all over my table, always, no matter where I live. I need something for that breath. I need to stop eating so I can test my blood. Hi, Orange Pop. See, I have panty liners in my purse. Just in case. Sometimes you sneeze and dribble, you know? Especially if you have kidney infection. Our house doesn't smell, Luna. Yeah, Harry's room is the spare room. Ugh. Unsweetened gum. Summer clothes haul. I get discouraged looking for size fucking 20, sorry. Freaking 28. I'm gonna go furniture. He has some furniture. He's MacGyver. I don't know how he got out of his cage. And into our bedroom. He had to crawl under the door. And uh, he just games a lot in the room. That's it. Yeah, this would be the lowest weight. I don't feel light. Are you allowed to be in there with him? Yeah, of course. He always asked me to, but I'm always in a seal on the bed. And then after he's done gaming, he'll come back in, we'll watch movies. Just depends. Yeah, the gaming setup, yeah, it's in Harry's room. No, I didn't do a weigh-in. But they weighed me at the clinic. But he did that too, like that's how I caught him, because like I baited him. I put a treat in his cage and I went in the room a few minutes later and wherever he was hiding from, he came in and took it and then I closed the, the cage. Sorry, I was one like 150 kg. And when I was weighed the last time at this clinic with the same doctor, I was 166. It was, have you considered weight loss surgery? It's like such a long wait list. Like, I don't know, there's no way I can do that now, you know? Yeah, he's in his cage. When we came home from the hospital, I guess last night, he was in our room, just chilling. Like, what's up? He looked, he looked up at Salah and Salah gasped. Like, I never heard him gasp like that. He's like, oh, the hamster. I was like, what? I was like, oh yeah, just another day at the zoo here. Howard is a cheese con wasire. His specialty is processed cheese slices. He's cheap. Ew, now the gum smells like garlic. What a good that did. 300, 330? That won't last. The minute I start eating more. I want a peach. I'll just sleep. Maybe I'll sleep. I won't wake him up to come to bed. I'll just fart freely all night. <laughs> I'm kidding. I did test my blood sugar before I took the insulin, but... Do you have any more gum? No, I don't want to be insane forever. He takes many vacations where he'll frog. <laughs> I need that continuous monitoring thing. But to have it always on your skin, wouldn't that bother you? I don't know anymore. Okay, the people hanging out in the hallway are... I just, I have to decide when I want to start the education. I just go in and make an appointment at that center. Self-guided, whatever. Fugitive hamster, what? <sighs> I hate that. Please work. How did it go higher? My blood sugar went higher. Did I eat something since then? Did I have a peach before or after the insulin? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you what the number is. It's like three points higher than what it was. I just ate gum, but it wasn't like, it's supposed to be sugar free. 
I don't know. I think it's my time. <laughs> I swear, I'm so tired of this. I had, I had it before, Melanie, you sure? I think the weight, I don't know, Riley. I didn't weigh myself the entire time I was doing those McDonald's since my last weight loss of the 15 kg, so I, I don't know. I'm tired of keeping track of all this sh crap. How can he, it be higher on insulin? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. It's so frustrating. And you're still fighting an infection? Like, I seriously want to cry. I'm so frustrated right now. Like, so frustrated. Maybe the peach? Like, I can't eat anything at all with, like, just basically broccoli and fucking steamed fish, right? That's all I have to eat from now on. I did, Kaylee. I used an alcohol swab. I didn't eat anything really unhealthy. I mean, what did I eat? Lentils? Maybe the bread? It was a small piece. Just a small piece. I'm gonna eat another peach, may as well. Oh my god, what kind of life is this? I can't even eat a peach. This is no life. Maybe it didn't work yet. I'll have to Google after I get off of here how long it takes to work. Thanks, teardrop. No, I'm not gonna eat anything else. No bread at all, not even a piece. I'm seriously, like, just gonna cut it all out for real. Like, that's insane. Like, since I took the insulin, it went up three points. That's ridiculous. Maybe the, yeah, everything looks potentially sus right now. The olive oil and the pickles, the vinegar. Is vinegar sweet? <laughs> I'm gonna cry, seriously, I'm so discouraged. What is nut flour bread? Oh, salts too? Yeah, Ruby, I, I'm gonna see a doctor tomorrow and I'm gonna talk to them about diet. I'm gonna say, like, how is it that I took the insulin? The, the follow up is for that reason. So I'll, I'll go find out. I'm gonna be like, and even at the hospital, the doctor was getting frustrated. Like, he came back in, he's like, hi, why is your blood sugar? Because it would go down and then go up more. Go down, up, go down, up. Must be the infection, I don't know. I need to exercise, yeah. So I wants to get me a treadmill. So. I said okay, but so actually, yeah, I'll tell him yes, like yes, yes, and we'll get one soon, maybe. Which means I definitely have to clean out the. I guess I could put the treadmill here. Hey, dreaming of embers. I feel sick. I'm like we're just really sick. Kidneys and liver. No, there's no treadmill downstairs, Brenda. It's like old friggin' ellipticals that are small. I'll break them. No juice. I have not been doing a fit bang. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna make the uh, poor exercise bike scream. I learned my lesson with the cart. That's okay. I'm just having trouble with my blood sugar. <sighs> I didn't act like I knew everything. Where did I say that? What are you even talking about? If you're talking about my community posts, I'm just stating what they, the science says, like what they say. So basically like carbs don't cause diabetes, but once you have diabetes, you have to watch your carbs because you can't absorb them anymore. That's what, that's what my point was. How's what working? What? I just so much with her hand to mouth. I mean, I don't know. Nobody said I couldn't eat, like I told you, the doctor at the clinic said I could eat healthy carbs, so. I'm not wrong. That's literal science, literally, literally. Look up how people get diabetes. The reason you can't eat, you, you have trouble processing sugar and carbs when you have diabetes is because you have diabetes, you have insulin resistance. But yeah, and like they gave me like a good portion of rice at the hospital. I have the video. I'm gonna do a video on it. So I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I think it might just be the infection still. I don't know. That's weird though. I shouldn't go up after taking insulin. That's just the weird part for me. Regardless of what I ate, like I didn't eat huge amounts of carbs. You saw me eat the lentil soup, which is literally just lentils and vegetables. And the amount of bread I had was like this piece, like multi-grain like this, and with cheese on it. So it's not like it would spike you. You know what I mean? The peach, maybe. Maybe the peaches are very sweet. Maybe I shouldn't have had that. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just, I don't know. I'm even scared to eat anything, like any carbs now, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Gizmo. I have to talk to the doctor about it. Maybe at least until I can get everything under control, you know? I don't know. I'm tired of it all, honestly. It's so annoying. I'm not fighting. I'm just, like, going by what the doctor said, like... So I guess I'll ask them about that tomorrow. 
diet wise especially with the sugar issue like i should just say like so should i be avoiding like most carbs like what should i be doing it's so frustrating just like you know you're i don't know you think i don't know you think you're doing like okay and you're not uh, yeah our bodies crave carbs it's normal you know i haven't been overeating now that's the problem like i haven't hardly been eating but this is like yeah, i don't know must have been too much carb i guess i don't know i really don't know like i can't say i don't know what the reason is why it went up after taking the insulin it's weird <laughs> like it really is I can get a diet plan, but like the diet boxes, they give you carbs. Like, you know, they portion out the food, but they still give you carbs. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna wake him up. I, I'll go in the early morning, like to my appointment and see, that's all. It took seven months. I have to start now. No, it's not ER time. I'm not going back to the ER. I wouldn't go back. No one told me, no. I, all it was was like literally vegetables, like lentils. One block of maybe the cheese is really bad. Uh, Multi-grain baguette to have with the soup. Peaches. Maybe I shouldn't be eating any fruit. They gave me grapes at the hospital. Really, Kina? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to wait to talk to the doctor, guys. And You know? Yeah, I think so, teardrop. No, I'm okay. I'm not in a bad way. I'm just tired. I'm really tired. So I'm probably going to go in a bit. Maybe the lentils. You think lentils do that? What? What the hell am I supposed to eat? This is why I need to see that dietitian. Okay, I'm gonna talk to them tomorrow about it. Be like, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be eating. Oh, Salah just woke up. <laughs> He's gonna be like a regular life. <sighs> but yes, you're right, because the food in the hospital, she's like, when I was in Canada, she's like, so do you want a turkey sandwich or a jello? And I'm like, what? They're so different. Can I have both? The turkey sandwich was literally... Hi, babe. Sorry, I'm alive. <laughs> and we're beaten, hardcore beaten. <laughs> okay, I know you guys like are really nice and helpful in that, but I'm just, we're gonna go see the doctor tomorrow morning and um, go from there. But yeah, it was brown bread with one slice of turkey, one. What kind of psycho? makes a sandwich with one slice of meat. Hi, Sarah. It's so hard to eat low carb. Everything has sugar, everything. You know, thank you, Martin. Or is it Martin? Yeah, I guess when you list it like that next year, it is kind of high carb, I guess. <sighs> so tired of it. Babe, I'm tired of this. Oh, babe, look at my homemade pickles. See? Babe, I made you a nice dinner and then you passed out. I didn't want to wake you up. Yeah, for sure, Iona. Bless you. One piece of meat is normal? No, like two. Why are you people? <laughs> Abdul, Abdul. Thank you, Abdul. Would you ever participate in Hajj? Abdul, the problem is I have health problems. I know I have to do Hajj at some point, but People died this year from the heat, and I, that would, I would be one of them. I can't take the heat, like really bad heat and walking for far distances. So if I could go when it's cold, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Babe, don't listen Babe, don't listen to the people freaking out, okay? I'm fine, you know? <laughs> We're gonna go to my appointment tomorrow and um, I'm gonna tell them my blood readings and how it's been going and then go from there. Over a thousand people, yeah. Yeah, I can't eat pickles like that. You know what though, soda? It's mostly vinegar, I didn't put much salt. What's going on? You missed a lot. We were bees in here. You're like, oh no, bees in? <laughs> no. no, babe, I didn't check my blood sugar like on camera, but what happened was I had dinner with the beezers, my soup, and I took my blood before I took my insulin to see what the levels would be. My level went up since taking the insulin, so, which is the opposite expected result. Well, I can't get a nose in back. No, I didn't put, I didn't put hardly any salt, literally. I took a pinch. 
for the whole jar. Oh yeah, baby, I work. <laughs> I said you were talking about getting with me a treadmill, but that's all I ate in a long time, in a while. It's not Ozempic or Dye. Yes, I made them. Look, look at the small pickles in the picture, and look at my pickles. These are totally homemade. I made them today. That's why there's all this garlic on the table that you saw. But don't worry, nothing destructive happened, happened babe. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking, oh no, she went live. What happened? <laughs> These are just cucumbers. They're not going to affect blood sugar. They're good. Maybe I'm eating, I'm picking now. Maybe because I'm like anxious. Okay, what do you mean salt will raise your blood sugar? I thought it was sugar that raises your blood sugar. Cucumbers, so just green, green, so vegetables only, with no butter, and a lean protein. That's all I can eat. Babe, I was talking because tomorrow we, we have to ask the doctor like what I should be eating because at this point, I really don't know. Vegetables and protein, vegetables and protein, vegetables and protein, protein, veggies. Protein and veggies, protein and veggies, veggies and protein and veggies. No butter, no salt, boiled, broiled. Okay, how about I just don't eat and let my body process my fat? I'd rather that, probably. If I don't get pleasure from eating, what's the freaking point? <laughs> I'm kidding, I guess it'd be. You can eat boiled chicken or beef with boiled broccoli or boiled cabbage, no salt. Brenda, get out of here, you're trolling. My blood pressure with salt hurting your kidneys more. Everything is killing us. Protein shakes. Banana diet. How, how does freaking freely survive? You tried to water fast and my blood sugar was still high. There's just, I don't know what's going on. No, my blood pressure teardrop has been really good. It's been lower than it's ever been. I don't need to eat every day. Yeah, I've eaten enough junk for a whole lifetime. Two lifetimes. I like broccoli. I do like vegetables, but you're eating to survive now. Yeah, bananas are so, yeah, I, I haven't been getting bananas. Tomorrow we will see what the doctor is, so keep the questions in your mind, yeah. Oh, babe, they also gave me a paper to go to, um, like, a nurse station and to make an appointment. So maybe we can do that while we're there. It might be the same area um, to sign up for a diabetes education course. So it's, like, included in everything. So I may as well take advantage. Canada has a huge media scan now. Try not eating until 5 p.m. and don't bend. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I'm going to ask what they should suggest. Golden girl, I missed you too. Yeah, I've been live for about... Huh? How many minutes now? It says 57 minutes, but it's been like more than that. Sorry, ew. The garlic and the pickles. I'm doing all right. How are you? Actually, I'm not feeling too great. <laughs> Read what, Buster? Please promise no more fast food. This is... No, no, no. There's no way. No way. They didn't say much about nutrition or exercise, honestly, this time. So I'll definitely, I think the education program will be good. I don't feel good. <laughs> I want a day where I come online and I go, I feel fantastic. Yum, nuts and cheese. Sounds good. Fats, veggies, and protein. Are you back to boycotting that? Actually, I felt really guilty eating that Burger King. It didn't feel right. So yeah, I haven't had any Starbucks, any McDonald's. I didn't really break the, I mean, we still have some products like Maggi, but it's hard to boycott every single thing. I don't know. The one doctor told me to eat two cups of rice <laughs> or two hands of rice like this. So I don't think I should listen. <laughs> that sounds good, eh? Like a nice, I don't know, steak. See, the doctor told me not to eat red meat. That one doctor. No eggs, no red meat. So I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I literally don't at this point. I, I never thought I would say that. How big were his hands? Well, pretty big. No eggs, no red meat, he said. That's what he said, Jennifer. I swear on God, he said that. He said, don't eat like, uh, there was no eggs, no red meat. Um, he seemed more like, it depends who you ask. He seemed more vegetarian, le lean towards more vegetarian. That's the type of doctor, that's the vibe I got. I don't know what I'm supposed to eat. I just want to eat ice, pickle flavored ice. Only pickles with vinegar. Yeah, I didn't add much salt in my pickles. I didn't, they're very vinegary. I think the next time I'm gonna leave out the olive oil and just put vinegar and dill. Broiled chicken with light mayo on light bread. 
Yeah, Tanji, but the Brita seems to be an issue for me. A bouillon? My endocrinologist said no meat and no eggs. And garlic, yeah. Yeah. So if I make pickles with no no sodium, really, you know, Golden Girl, I like I like that. I, you know what it is? It's not the it's the, the vinegar I crave. You know? Yeah. Kuwait has a very high obesity rate. Yeah. They do have a lot of diet centers and stuff like that here. Uh, but my kidney function did improve while I was in the hospital. So really sweet brioche. I never thought of lentils as like the carb category I need to worry about. I thought of it as like a protein. But it's a carby protein. You're right. Yeah. Oh, just talking about food right now is making me ill, actually. The infection, like they say when you have really, like when you have high uncontrolled blood sugar, you will get frequent infections such as UTIs, stuff like that, um, because the sh high sugar really affects the kidneys. So, and then, but it's also when you have an infection, you get high blood sugar. I've been having a fever, yeah. No, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm so tired. I'll make sure, yeah, I drink a lot of water. True hot tea. There's so many different things going on you know, metabolically that it's, my body's trying to figure it out, you know? But I will go to the class. <sighs> yeah, UTI are no fun. <sighs> yeah, right, babe, I drink a lot of water. Stay out of the sun until you're feeling better. Yeah, that's what I'm going to see tomorrow, Lolo. An internist is like an endocrinologist, right? Oh no, it wasn't a favor. The doctor, they're like, give me your phone for a minute. I'm like, why? They're like, I'm gonna take a picture of the appointment I made. So they might've written it in a book. I don't know, but I don't have it on paper. Yeah, this is the ER paper. They were making notes on this. Oh, the time and dates my blood sugars were taken. Hmm. Anyway, oh, yeah, Gabriel, you hot tea. You're not feeling well. Sometimes I like think I'm. This is water, and I go to drink it. It's vinegar. Babe, hey, look at my bruise from my IV. I was complaining a lot. I'm kidding. I wasn't. Okay, guys, don't pound. It's the law. The minute he wakes up. You see, what's a proper doctor? How, how am I supposed to know that? I've seen many doctors now here. The doctor also has specialized knowledge regarding your diabetes. Oh, Google is not my friend. No, it's not supposed to be, a, it's supposed to be a specialist, they said. They're making an appointment with a specialist and then I saw something about internal medicine on the, on the, on the picture. No more TikTok. <laughs> go to the diabetes class. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to that, yeah. I just have to feel better before I can go to a class. Like, I don't feel well, you know. Ugh. Ugh. Good night. Now it's my turn to sleep, babe. The chair is screaming. <laughs> I'm not gambling. I'm trying, MMJ. That's why I'm frustrated. I feel like I did had a good, healthy meal tonight. Like, I did. So I just really don't know at this point what the hell I'm supposed to do. I don't know if it's because my infection is still there. I don't know. You gotta live forever. I'm trying, but I don't know. I'm obnoxious a lot of the time, yeah. He's not complicit in anything. Freaking weirdos. You guys are being so dramatic. Some of you. Well, yeah, medication can cause nausea too. That's a lot of grams, it sounds like, no? He doesn't really bring me takeout. Like, I order groceries today. Um, usually we order, like, from Talabat or an ordering delivery service, and it's always healthy stuff. He will not bring me fast food. And this is new to him, too. You think he just ex expect him to be perfect and know everything and, like, save the day? Come on. That's too much to put on somebody. You know? I haven't been honest to God, guys. I have not been eating takeout. I have not been, like, not takeout. Not fast food, not unhealthy takeout. Um, nothing that I would ever think would ever affect my blood sugar, you know? Literally, like salad, chicken breast, like all the time, or just barely, not even eating most days when I was really sick at the beginning. So, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. If I was eating fast food, yeah, I would be like, yeah, I'm dumb, like, hello. 
He does help out a lot, guys. You don't even know. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm so tired. And I have to be up early, so... I'll let you guys know how it goes. Vegetables are water. Literally water soup. That's what I'm having from now on. Chicken, we want you healthy. I want to be healthy too, trust me. I don't like feeling like this. I like broiled chicken and fish too. But not every effing day. I don't know. I want lasagna and garlic bread. But I won't eat it. No, I'm definitely not eating that. That's so heavy. <sighs> I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Karma what? Oh yeah, sure. I have diabetes complications because of karma for what? Telling someone to F off? Oh well. That's so dumb. <laughs> Every effing day, think of your food like it's your medicine. It can help you. Babe, I'm gonna cry, babe. Lolo. The super chat is next level of being moral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dreaming of Everest. She needs cuddle and some soup. I, I made soup tonight. Let's go on Survivor. Yeah, I'm not venting for anything, so. Nope. Honestly, you know that movie Alive? Where the plane crashes? Um, I would have lived. I would have lived no problem and i think of that and it's like so sad like the reason they died was like starvation like wasn't it a lot of people or they could have starved i wouldn't have had to eat people yeah i have to get through that point where i want to get to that over the rainbow where i'm at that point where i don't need bad i don't like bad food but i don't i don't like that. the issue right now is like something else weird because it's not like i don't know maybe the peach i had a peach I'm just gonna starve, guys. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna not eat. It is withdrawal. Uh oh. I better go. I need to pray for many things. Yeah, thank you, guys. And don't worry, I'm gonna, like, find out tomorrow about everything. I'll check my blood sugar a bit later just to see if it worked. Anyway, maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe I need a higher dose. Turbulent yogurt soup. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.